Demon Souls walkthrough for ArmageddonGaming.com. Here we are with World 5-2. Uh, probably one of the shittiest uh, areas in the entire game. Uh, it's not too difficult. There's a frame rate issue right there. Why was that? Um, it's very confusing and annoying, and there's poison everywhere, and it sucks, and it's large. Like me. But, um... It's generally more of an annoyance and a, a case for you to get lost than a uh, something that can be to be considered difficult. There are a few of the of the large goblins again, but uh, those are the only thing that's going to be difficult. Right here we have is the shortcut, which we will be getting. But first, you need to jump down right where the shortcut is. And uh, here's the Meridian Hammer. Uh, that's commonly regarded as like a noob weapon, but it can help you through a few instances. Uh, frankly, I'm not sure. Not now knowing that I've actually gone through the entire game and my plan for using that never fell fell into place. Uh, if you don't want to get it, don't worry about it. <laughs> but um, get it if you want. It, Meridian Hammer is like pretty BS and useful in certain scenarios. You can like stun lock stuff. But as you can see, I do have my black leather again, and I believe I'm using the Ring of Poison Resistance because there's a lot of poison. Walking in this water for long enough will poison you. And uh, you can't roll, you can't do anything inside the water, so, um... Before you go into the water, I try doing a roll anyway, just because it gets me a little bit extra... extra boost. But, uh, the way I'm going to be showing you to go is you need to follow it very well, because it's easy to get lost. And I'm trying to keep you out of the poison goo as much as possible. These things kind of suck, uh... It's easy to tell when they're about to attack, because they kind of shudder a bit. But, uh, it's, you can see me trying to roll right there, even when you're out, um... Don't try rolling until your character is running again. I think you can sprint, actually. I've seen people do it. Go ahead and try it, but definitely don't roll. Rolling does not work. If these guys are severely in your way, go ahead and hit them. Uh, there's a few right here, as you can see. It's it really kind of annoying here. But try to time it just right. It's not too bad. They don't even hurt that much, but uh, you definitely want to minimize poison. And uh, I decided to heal through a little bit of it first, because just using that many... Uh, Shit, what's the name of the Lotus? I can't remember the name of the Lotus. The one that gets rid of poison. Using too many of those can be hurtful, but you can buy them from the Filthy Woman. Who we will be finding again in this map shortly. And I think even, uh... What's his name? There's me trying to roll again. Patches sells uh, some of that, that Lotus as well. Definitely bring a lot. But I'm going to be healing through a bit of it just because I don't want to want to use many of them. So again, try very hard to follow the path I'm going to. It's kind of a set path if you look on the wiki map. It's kind of, you can tell that they're trying to get you to go that way. And uh, some of the ambushes they have set up for you sort of uh, really say how important it is. So right here, um, I'm really scared, so I am going to be using warding. Just because you can't be too careful. And there's a big guy right here. And he likes to run out at you while you're inside the goo. And if he does, you're going to be unable to roll. And that's not good, and he's going to kill you, because you can't really block this guy. You can see he really... He's just the juggernaut bitch. And he pounds me into the ground a few times. I was getting kind of scared. But you need to make a... Get to this, this area of land as quickly as possible without fighting as much. Or anything, if you can avoid it. Because you need to be able to roll against this guy. I decided to two-hand my weapon, because uh, trying to fight him... That guy's still alive, holy shit. Trying to fight him with the shield is silly. Oh, that guy actually comes up and like knifes me in the back, I'm pretty sure. I was like, where'd this guy come from? I d didn't kill him the first time. Kind of funny. But our first fog is right here, so we're getting there. We're basically going to end up having to make almost a full circle around this, this gigantic underground goo pit. But up here, it really sucks. Uh, you can fall off really easily, and if you do, you're probably going to die. So don't. There are these uh, insects, which are kind of tricky to see, so you definitely need to make sure you have arrows. About a hundred, and you should be okay. Uh, for these guys, because you don't really... They're very difficult to hit with melee weapons, so you just want to shoot them down. Uh, my compound longbow, with like almost no dexterity, is enough to kill them in one shot. Uh, there's quite a few, and they almost get me a few times. There are very uh, quite a few places here where I almost fall. I'd actually never even... This is another example of... What was I shooting at? Oh, this is a guy there, never mind. This is another example of a level I've never done until recording this, but uh, I've seen it done a hundred times, I knew exactly how to do it. It was just a case of uh, not getting killed by those really big guys. 
Uh, and later up ahead, there's going to be two of them. So yeah, that's going to be fun, but uh, I believe if we're on the Thief's Ring, or maybe I even already have the Thief's Ring on, I don't remember. And uh, that'll be able to just draw out one at a time. And that is the only way you're going to be able to really kill two of them. Uh, fighting two at the same time is, is bad, you don't want to do it. Yeah, that guy almost finishes me right there. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, you don't want to target these guys either, because that's going to help you fall off. I almost fall off again. My character kept fucking, like, going to the side, even though I was pressing forward. Kind of weird. Right here, there are two. Oh, these guys camp, so I just decided to shoot them with arrows. They wait for you to get across that thin platform, and they just all rush across and try pushing you. They suck. This platform is not fun, but at least it's somewhat better than the goo. Nobody likes this level, trust me. People just run through it. But unfortunately, this one, you can't run so much. You have to take your time. Kill these guys. If it looks like there's nothing, there's probably bugs. Once you get to the end of the platform, you can just start uh, jumping down like this. So you can see, if you're really super skilled, you can grab this item. It's really easy to fall off. Black Turpentine, kind of useful. Not that useful. Uh, we're going to be going up against a little bit more goo again here, but it's not there for very long. Okay, yeah, I do have the Thief's Ring on. So um, I probably could have even avoided more poison if I brought the Poison Ring with me and traded it out. So I like the Thief's Rings a lot because it helps me uh, control how many guys I'm going to be fighting. Luckily the goo pits right here aren't very big, there's quite a bit of land. Again, continue to go this way. I didn't see these bugs. So I'm just, I'm not even going to risk it, I'm just going to run away and uh, pull out my bow. I suggest you do the same, because they like they like latch onto your back and like one hit you and all this shit. I think I missed like 900 times. I couldn't see them. Like they were far enough away that like the reticule was actually obscuring, obscuring the view. And I thought the arrows were supposed to like fall, but apparently he was close enough that the arrows weren't dropping yet. You probably can't even see them. I I can't see them on the preview. I could barely see them in the game. Maybe if you have an LED TV, but uh, there's four of them right here. Kill them all. Uh, you don't want to find out what happens when you don't. And we will continue. This is only the easy part, remember. Thankfully, the boss is uh, pretty simple. Uh, not a big deal. Also, kind of weak to fire, maybe. Or maybe I just, the weapon is just so good. But he's not a big deal. He does have a, a few mechanics that you need to get down. Uh, if you ever played World of Warcraft, you know what a mechanic is. But I will be showing you. Very interesting fight. I kind of like, like the fight. Feels a little bit more intuitive than your average boss fight. Here are the slugs. Uh, apparently they suck and like they're hard to kill or something. So I just run past them. Not difficult to do. And they don't follow you at all. They seemed uh, indifferent mostly. So right here is going to be the probably the hardest part in the level. There are going to be two of these big guys right here. They're difficult to see. Uh... Playing it on your TV should be able to see them just fine, but just for the sake of the YouTube video, you probably can't see them so well. Uh, I'm going to be using my bow to kite one of them away. Try to shoot the closer one. He's going to be like, you motherfucker. These guys are stronger, I believe. Maybe maybe not. In, in theory, they should be because it's the new level, but it's hard to tell. Uh, I, yeah, I like strong attacks on these guys. As you can see... I finish this guy very easily just because I kind of get it, get a little bit lucky on him. And you can, as you will see, the next guy gives me a ton of trouble. Uh, Royal Lotus, by the way, is the one that gets rid of poison, the pink one. This guy almost kills me, frankly. I'm not sure why. He was just a lot better than the other one. But once they start swinging the the weapon around, it gets, it gets nasty. As you can see, it is not easy to uh, to stun them. Uh, the fucking target system got all weird right there. He should have hit me right there as well. I decided to retreat to keep away from that uh, that guy casting Poison Cloud. He hits me again because I get stuck inside of here. As you can see, he's really good at timing his attacks to hit you right when you stand up. Because he's an asshole. One of the few enemies in the game that does that. Not fun. And you can see these normal uh, looking goblins, small goblins that kind of glow with that purple, uh, will cast Poison Cloud. Cause, or a Plague or something, because I guess they're plagues. So don't let that happen. We will continue the next video, going through this fog.